Hello everybody, my name is Rolak, and welcome back to Kirby Superstar Ultra. In the last episode, we finished up all there was to do in Meta Nightmare Ultra, defeating the, uh, what was it? The most powerful warrior in the galaxy, Galactonite, claiming our title as the greatest warrior of the galaxy. Now, in this episode, we are going to be taking on Helper to Hero. Kirby's not the only hero, helpers can be heroes too. We'll prove it, all, we'll prove it in an all-star battle. Beat 13 foes as one of many helpers. Master each one. Alright, so Helper to Hero is a... It's kind of like the arena, however, you don't play as Kirby, you play as one of the many helpers that are available. Uh, each one representing a uh, ability, the Knuckle Joe with uh, Fighter, Parasol Wild D with Parasol, Chili with Ice, Blade Knight, and uh, Sword Knight with Sword, Simir with Mir, Gim with Yo-Yo, Puppy Rose Jr. with Bomb, Waddle with Beam, Plasma Wisp with Plasma, Sir Kibble is Cutter, Bird on with Wing, Biospark as Ninja, Bonkers as Hammer, Burning Leo as Fire, Capsule J2 as Jet, Rocky as Stone, Wheelie as Wheel, uh, Tack as Copy, and Bugsy as Suplex. Now, a few fighters actually have uh, different uh, traits than Kirby has. Um, some have different move layout, or some have different ways of using their moves. Uh, they're all also different colors for some reason. I don't know why. But um, if you want to go, uh, Tack represents Copy. Um, instead of like a little scan thing, he actually has a thing called Cat Magnum, where he launches a little projectile and you have to charge up that projectile. His shield is also a completely invulnerability, so he's pretty powerful in this regard. <clears throat> Bonkers is a hammer flip. Instead of uh, swinging, it, or swinging it upwards, he actually swings it down. That does uh, impact where you actually hit the enemies though, so be careful of that. Uh, Plasma Wisp can fly on his own without having to press any buttons. Um, Sword Knight has Meta Knight's up thrust ability. And I think that's about all the differences that there are. Uh, so, um, to make things simple, I am just going to go Knuckle Joe. Now, the difference between uh, Helper to Hero with the arena is that you always fight the same bosses in the exact same order. Uh, there are only 13 bosses as opposed to the tw as opposed to the 19. As opposed to what differences there are, I am there's not a whole lot. Um, wait, no, every boss is a different color due to the what's it called from Milky Way wishes. They're always a different color, such as the chef here. All oh, right, he does that. I have that move. Completely forgot. So yeah, Helper Hero, pretty simple. You can take another ally with you and do a two-player uh, challenge. But if you do do that, the bosses will have more health to accommodate for the extra person. So be careful of that. There we go. Some style points on there. Uh, as for the bosses that you don't fight in this one, I believe that the you don't fight the reactor core. Um... You don't fight the Galactinova Nucleus, uh, because those ones are specifically... I don't know why they're just Kirby-themed, but I guess they are. Um, as for who exactly you do fight... Oh, I completely forget. We'll be able to figure out once we actually get going in the uh, lineup here. Yeah, I can't remember exactly who you do and don't fight. You don't fight Marks. Marks isn't the final boss. Uh, there's a special final boss for this one. And fight DDD. Show how easy it is with Fighter to fight DDD because, like I said before, not difficult in the slightest. I'm trying to remember who else we can fight. We, I don't think we fight the com. I don't think we fight the combo cannon. Um. Yeah, I can't really remember exactly what we fight and what we don't fight, but I think I pretty much covered most of them. That's only just three, but... Uh, oh, no, that's four, so we're down to be, like, 16, or 
15 at least. Also, there's a weird animation glitch where whenever Dino Blade starts to do her like sweeping attack, um, and you defeat her at that point, she won't actually go down until you finish. Until she finishes the animation. So it's a bit of an annoyance, but nah, what can you expect? Got Fatty Whale. Uh, you fight Meta Knight, I know that for certain. Um, I don't know. I don't think you fight Lolo Lo or La La La. I don't think you fight those two. So that's five down. Um, pretty sure you fight Heavy Lobster. I think that's most of them down already. Oop. Doing a lot better this time because I'm not talking the entirety of the time. Although I'm not doing a good job of explaining this uh, mode all that well. I mean, it's just the arena, but you play as the helper. It's pretty standard by anything. Going to the mid-boss all-star number two. Uh, now, if you do want, I think, the full completion, you do have to beat this mode with every helper, being the 13 helpers. Um... Because I'm pretty sure that counts towards you completing everything. I hope it's not, and I nah, probably have to look that up to actually make it true. Because I can't remember the last time I actually did it with all the heroes, so that's going to be a slight nuisance. Alright, just one more to go for this. We're actually making some good progress on this. Only almost seven minutes in, but not terrible. There we go. And if you're getting annoying and I'm only using like one move, well, that's really the only good fighter move that there is. <laughs> Maybe when they like upgrade it in the future, specifically Return to Dreamland, because they get some pretty cool. I mean, it's mostly just the. Uh... He gets it. An... Fighter gets an actual Hadoken in Return to Dreamland. Or a Kamei. Or a Kamei. Hey, uh... Whatever, how you pronounce it. Oh, as opposed to the arena, because there's so little, uh, so fewer, uh, enemies to fight. Um, no oh, wait. Uh, you only get three maximum tomatoes. Oh. There we go. Oh, you don't fight Waddle Dee as well. You don't fight the bandana Waddle Dee as well. So I think that's all of them. You don't fight the Galactic Nova Nucleus. You don't fight, uh, the Reactor Core. You don't fight the Combo Cannon. You don't fight uh, marks. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've covered everybody. Also, this is the only instance as to when the uh, computer virus is a different color. Never in like any of the other so games have has he been like actually a different color. For example, the uh, magician is purple instead of blue robes. I think the dark knight gets like I don't remember what the evil knight gets. Yeah, I thought so. We got, like, black armor instead of the basic purple armor, I believe it was. They also have a bit more health than usual, which is a bit annoying. Especially since we can't attack them most of the time. And, of course, he raises his defenses. I do like that it tells you how much damage you have actually dealt to the uh, boss, but it's really time-consuming when this guy's just popping up out of nowhere. It's also really annoying that you can't attack him the entirety of the time. But I do like this fight. It's a it's a neat little fight. Now for the great dragon, which is purple. Very deep purple, I never realized that. Good lord. Alright, come on, hurry up. Okay, I need to do the little cancel thing. It's like Smash Brothers where you just, or a fighting game where you just um, cancel some, cancel, your, cancel your animation to get more damage output. Okay, what if I can actually press down the button properly? This is going to take forever. It's probably over by now if we had a hammer, but I don't want to use hammer because I would probably get this done in like five minutes. I don't want that to be that long. Ugh. <sighs> And it petrifies itself, of course. Ugh. Really, this fight just takes long for no good reason. Damn it. 
Come on. I also do like like the 8-bit style of the boss fight music. It's a really nice touch to it. Yeah, yeah let's go, let's go, come on. Alright, I think next is next is Meta Knight, obviously. And instead of offering his sword, he just jumps down right away. There he goes. I, I thought he wouldn't for a moment I got scared that he would just be glitched or something. Oop. It's a bit different to fight this with fighter. Yep. There we go. Alright, and that's all the bosses defeated with our last one being someone different. Let's just grab all them tomatoes for some reason for no reason at all. Now you might be thinking, oh this is just the wham bam rock fight, and well you would be correct in that sense. But you might be thinking, well why is it just wham bam rock? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well I can't really actually demonstrate why because I haven't actually defeated him yet, but we'll get into that in a moment. Fight is also not all that difficult, so it's always good. First slam attack. Also, Nintendo has a weird tendency to make bot or er, hand bosses. Uh, a lot of people have realized that, but once we defeat Wham Bam Rock, a new foes appear. This is Wham Bam Jewel, diamond hands and three eyes. This guy likes shiny stuff. He's the Wham Bam King. So yeah, a secret boss of Help the Hero and the final boss of Help the Hero is Wham Bam Jewel. He is a lot tougher than Wham Bam Rock is. Has a pretty much has the exact same move set, uh, but works a bit differently. Um, his diamonds obviously hurt a bit harder than the rocks that Wham Bam Rock drops. I want to say that his attacks are a bit faster, but I'm not too sure if they are attack from that side instead of the other side. This attack where he... I don't I mean, no, Wham Bam Rock does this attack, I think. Where he just drops some fiery pods or something. I don't remember. Come on. Come on. There we go. So yeah, overall, it's not all that tough. I mean, we just did it right there. And it's... Yeah. Really loud, though. Champion! Now, uh, the helper specific time is displayed on the bottom screen, while the top time total uh, spread across all different um, helpers are displayed on the top. And from that, we can now play the final game, the True Arena. Hey, there we go. There's the triumphant music. Now, I want to check something real quick. Okay, 98%. Hopefully, once we beat the True Arena, we'll be able to get 100%, because that's going to be annoying if it doesn't. Alright, uh, let's do some Samurai Kirby, because we never, uh, showed it off in the last episode. Alright, Samurai Kirby, one of the original sub-games from the, uh, Kirby Superstar. In this game, we gotta be Okay, so, the way this game works is that it's basically a Samurai Showdown, where once the exclamation point pops up, we gotta hit A as fast as we can. If we hit it before the opponent, we win. Obviously, you want to be as fast as possible, but me being me, I might be able to probably do that. Yeah, I'm not really doing all that quickly. Samurai DGD. Damn it! Ah. This game is tough. It's a really tough one. You gotta be really, really focused on this. You're gonna be really quick. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to get to the last challenger, which is Meta Knight. I think is why we. Damn it! I'm not quick enough. I don't think I'll be able to be quick enough on the emulator. I have almost never beaten this sub game or mini game. Yeah, I've r very rarely beaten this minigame because it's a really difficult minigame. Oh, redo! Oh, that's a first. Good lord. Damn it. 
damn it. Oh, I'm not good at this. Yeah, there's obviously normal and hard to uh, increase the difficulty if you want. Um, but I think that's all it's going to do for this episode. This was a nice little episode. Not super long for once, so that's good. I'll probably... Um, I have to look up what requires you to get like complete 100% and see if you actually have to do every hero. Because once you actually... Um, once you actually defeat uh, Help of a Hero with one character, a little gold medal appears, signifying that you've uh, beaten the game with them. I'm going to see and hope to God that we don't have to do it with everybody to actually get 100% because that would be kind of annoying. But if it does require all that, um, I will do every fighter in between episodes, I guess. It's going to take forever, but eh, what can we do? Anyway, next time on Kirby Superstar Ultra, we are going to be going into the true arena. See you guys next time.